Hey guys, Kate here, and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, well, we're in New York. I thought it would be cool if I took you guys on this little adventure that I'm having. We're here for two reasons. Number one is work, obviously, can't stop. And number two, it's actually that I'm technically on vacation right now. Now, this is my first vlog, so do bear with me. There's gonna be a lot of mistakes and there's probably a lot of wind right now. But if you guys like the kind of content that I'm doing now, just smash that like button, hit me with a subscribe, because that shows me that you guys kind of want to see more of this. But the video is going to have a narrative, but I think that this is going to be a collage of everything that I'm doing. So let's go. On the first day, we landed around 5 p.m. at LaGuardia. We took one bus, one train, and we ended up in Lower Manhattan right on Canal Street. And by the time that we checked in, unpacked, and got situated, we literally had to rush halfway across town to catch an art expo that we had tickets for. This light installation was at the Art Tech House in Chelsea. The exhibition was made by Julius Horthuis. Horthuis. Horthuis? Horthuis. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. The showcase focused on geometric shapes, and the light installation was confined to only one room. The entire exhibition was displayed by countless projectors hidden in the ceiling that totaled to a 16K full 360 experience that was absolutely bonkers. The whole thing was on a 30 minute loop, but I can see myself easily losing a couple hours trapped in here. After that, we met up with some friends and... All right, so we went out drinking yesterday and we ended up like at five in the morning in the middle of New Jersey. I don't know how, but I'll for sure be inserting a clip of that probably here. And today we're gonna take it a little bit more chill. We're just gonna do some shopping and go to Central Park. So I'll see you guys there. Let's be honest, boys. You don't give a fuck about Central Park. You're here to find out how to get your hands in a goopoo. So let's go. If you guys remember, I said that we were here for two reasons. One of them was vacation and one of them was business. The last video contained every single part of it that was vacation. In today's video, we're going to be doing all business. So right now, we're going to be taking a train, the end train, from Canal Street all the way outside of the island of Manhattan to Brooklyn. We're going to be hitting up a micro center, and hopefully we can get our hands on a GPU. Right now, it is 5 in the morning, so we are camping out, and we're going to be there for a very long time. And it's also 60 degrees. Hence, this beautiful light like hoodie that you see. All right, guys, so we just got to the Brooklyn in Micro Center, and the line is around the corner. So I guess now all we have to do is pretty much just wait. Three days later. There we have it, the MSI Ventus 3060 12 GOC. I think that's right. So I'm not a tech channel, so I'm not gonna pretend to be as much as who like to think that I know a couple things about tech. I really, really don't. So I'll be throwing some base stats at you. This graphics card does have a base core clock of 1,807 megahertz. That is where the OC part comes from. It also has 12 gigs of GDDR6, and then it is DLSS and ray tracing ready. How did I pretty much get my hands on this? First of all, I was in New York for that vacation, as you saw. I pretty much woke up at six in the morning, and then, no, sorry, five in the morning, and then headed out to Micro Center. I got, I got there around 5.36, I would like to say. I waited for, pretty much until they opened. And I was the 32nd person in line, so my place was 32. I did not get a voucher, which if you're in the front of the line, they do give you a voucher, that voucher does certify that no matter what happens, you will be getting a graphics card. That wasn't me. 
I went there with a pretty nice budget. I could have uh, gone for a 3060, 3070, 3060 Ti, 3080, pretty much everything except for a 3090. You know, that's what I was willing to spend. But if you do want to get your hands on a graphics card in 2021, we know what's happening, right? Uh, us as gamers, we like to pretty much blame the miners because they're the people who are consuming more than one graphics card. Like, for example, if I wanted a graphics card, per se, this one. As of right now, I got it, I bought it, it's in my PC, I'm officially off the market. If you're a miner, you can always use more graphics card. But I do have to be transparent with you because that's exactly what I like to do here at the Double Tap, just be as transparent as possible. And that's not the whole story. There are four things that are affecting the pretty much a graphics card crisis that we have right now. Number one is the silicon shortage. You know, the people who supply silicon to NVIDIA and AMD, sorry, and Intel, their supply is running low. So there's problems within the supply chain. So like I was saying, Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA are all operating at pretty much not full capacity right now due to COVID restrictions. So the supply, it's never gonna meet the demand. Even if you took out miners out of the equation, it will never meet the demand because they're not operating at full speed. You have the third problem, which is scalpers and bots. They kind of go hand in hand together because the supply is so low, the demand is so high. You pretty much have people who are buying these graphics cards, who are going in teams, who will have bots set up for every single drop, whether it's Best Buy, Newegg or whatever, and are selling it over MSRP. I'm pretty sure you can tell just by looking at eBay. But there's a fourth problem, which is what I talked about earlier, which are miners. The minute that you have one graphics card, you immediately need another one. There is no shortage of miners who would like to have a full rig full of 3080s and 3090s. So if you want to get your hands on a graphics card, you pretty much have three options. And the option number one is the most speedy, I would like to say option, the fastest option. And that is to buy it off eBay or Amazon. The problem with that is, is that you're paying a very, 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 very high premium. We're talking about twice or three times MSRP. There's also the problem that plagues mostly eBay, not Amazon. If you buy something on Amazon and it comes out bad, you are backed by Amazon. But on eBay, there is a bunch of scammers. If the deal is too good to be true, rule of thumb is, is that it probably is. You have people who are selling NFTs, which is just a picture of the graphics card for $600. And then you have people who have literally no reviews on eBay. And eBay does tend to side with the seller. So that's also something you might want to keep in mind if you want to go that route. Even though you can pretty much go online and buy a graphics card right now, that way you will be paying a very hefty premium. Your second option is a little bit more of luck, and that is the New York Shuffle. The New York Shuffle runs every weekday. You sign up, you're in a contest, a raffle pretty much, to have the chance of purchasing a graphics card. The problem with that is, is that purely based on luck, I entered 27 times. I still haven't won, so you know, you do that with what you will. You could enter tomorrow and win. You could take your three tries, four tries, you could take your hundred tries. We don't know. But with the new X Shuffle, there's also another problem, which is that they're bundling their graphics cards with things like motherboards, power supplies, and cases. That might drive the price up. You could be looking at a 3060 with an Intel motherboard, but you have an AMD system. So that kind of motherboard needs to be resold on your end. So you're still paying a bit of a premium on that, but definitely not as high as scalpers. The final option is to camp out of a micro center and not a full 24 hours, not a full, you know, set up a tent thing, but together very early and, you know, wait in line and, you know, waste five hours of your life on your phone. Make sure you have enough battery from what I know. And again, take this with a grain of salt is that as of right now, they are getting shipments three times a week. Um, I live in Florida, so. I was on vacation for New York. I thought it would be a great opportunity. I did it first try, got it, boom, and it was done. I do know that micro centers are not all over the United States. I don't even know if they're in Canada. I really don't know what the availability is, but I know that in some states, they simply don't have micro centers. When it comes to getting your hands on a graphics card, something that you might want to be thinking of or considering is taking the flight, booking the hotel, and then, you know, staying there for three days. My strategy for that would be that I would give it a three try minimum. So I will probably take a flight, try to land in New York or whatever micro center you want by two or three in the morning and just simply head straight down there, you know, pull the all nighter, tough it out and wait outside the micro center for the first day. Then, you know, you 
checking into your hotel at 3 p.m. You sleep that day. You repeat the same process the next day, and then you repeat the process one more time. You only pay for two nights, and then you head back home. Again, they do get three shipments every single week. You will have to have really, really, really bad luck to pretty much get there and there not be a shipment. Now, that does drive the price up. There is no denying that. I mean, for this card, I did pay MSRP, which was $500 plus tax, and ended up being about $545. If we take into consideration this tactic that I used, that would be two nights. If you booked a really cheap hotel, that would be like $160. And as of right now, due to COVID, flights are still pretty inexpensive. So about $100 to fly from Florida to New York. So that brings the total price up to $320. It's pretty much like paying the new X Shuffle premium without getting that extra component that you might or might not want but at least it's more of in control and it's more of in your hands. So I will have uh, another video coming out, you know, actually putting this into the system, benchmarking it and seeing how it performs at various settings, you know, what kind of frame rates I'm getting. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, I think it's time for me to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this tactic on getting your hands on a new GPU? Let me know if you'll be trying it, if there's a micro center near you, or you'll be taking that extra step and taking that flight booking a hotel or probably staying with family you never know that might be something you want to look into because i do believe that this is the best way and probably the only way to get a graphics card at msrp also we're on the road to 500 subscribers so if you guys are feeling up to it smack me with a sub button as we cover all things call of duty warzone cold war and we're breaking into tech yeah as always a like rating it's always appreciated also Follow me over on Twitch. Don't follow me over on Twitch because I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore. I don't know why I said that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I'm Major Cade. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications like, fuck me.